Hello and welcome, my name is Maturius and let's do a new game. It's called Stoneheart and it's quite a curious game and yeah, you get your settlers, your pioneers and you're going to build a new community and we're going to test this game and I hope you guys all like it if you want to see more or got any questions put it in the comment down below I really like to hear it so let's start this story because it's a story driven game uh, this game is of a story of brave band of settlers and we are going to start with the ascendants uh, they're kind of the easiest start the ascendancies a prosperous and industrial kingdom seeks new land and adventures they travel off and we are going for the temper because they are favored by this climate if you pick another uh, type of band you get another favored area so we are going for the tempered area and we seek a new land and venture and they set off to the and uh, well we're going to try the normal to the Darkmoor forest a location that is sure to be an inspiring place start a new select roster so you start with five settlers they all got their own yeah character story and their own problems so every uh, settler has a mind the ability to think intelligence and to grow they got the body that means how strong they are and then you got the fate uh, in other people and themselves so when that's high it's a good thing then they all got traits so this one is charismatic and he's also kind of joker we got Stefan he is a night owl the day only really begins once the sun has been set and then we get he's also a pack mule so he can carry a lot then we got I guess our little soldier Lizzie courageous and opinionable has an opinion on everything all right so that that's going to be a little problem then we got sen and sen is kind of loner and at last but not least we got orza and orza is a professor all right that's interesting i never had that one so i did a few tries so you can mess around with how they look but we're not going to go really in that uh, you can also reroll, try and get different characters, but you can get some crappy ones, I know, because I tried that. Accept this roster. Um, yeah, how hard are we going to make it for ourselves? I guess we are going to go for the farming part. Food for a day. You get a farmer, you get some berries, some carrots, some jerky and some gold. You can also start with a trapper skill, a footman. So you get weapons and herbalists. The large amount of food charmed into the back of the caravan. Should keep the hardlings going for a handful of days while they have to settle and run. So let's start. And we're starting in... Well, let's just start in the summer. Every world got a world seat and yeah, you can settle like you want. I don't. I think I'm going to settle this. Uh, we we want some rocks so uh, for wildlife. Uh, we want some trees and the minerals is a bit less here, but we'll have them nearby, so that won't be a problem. So let's start and settle here. Generating the world. This game really caught my eyes and it is going to be quite a fun adventure. As you look, it's it's quite made uh, past the game, I guess. Yeah, we need to settle. You can uh, scroll quite a bit out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the land is quite big. So we started here, um, maybe we should have started in this area, but got a little bit more building space. So for now, I guess we're going to sell a little bit to this part. 
And there we start. Initial supplies description. If we're going to get this town off and running, we'll need wood, a lot of it. Chop down the nearby trees. We need uh, two or eight woods. All right. Well, I am going to use the tutorial to show you a little bit how the game works. So I get it on a pause. It pause. I should pause it. And uh, you get a little harvest button and you can chop down trees. I should chop down the big trees. That way I get more wood and the other one will grow a bit. I don't have that many big big trees. We got some berries, that's also kinda nice. Alright, then the second thing we need to do is well let's let the tutorial tell us. Let's turn it up a little bit. So we got an initial supply and we're going to chop down, I guess we're going to chop down a few more trees because we can use the wood and this one also. Complete the initial supply. That wasn't that hard. Now we need somewhere to store it. Alright, so I guess we're going to designate a storing place. I guess we're going to store everything here. We're going to make a little place of 15 by 15. That, that looks quite nice. And I want all the wood to be stored in this place and all the resources. Alright, so now we can do different kind of things. Um, and did we have any builder? No, no we don't. So we can change their jobs, promote them hardlings. We can do that with the character sheet. We can make ourselves a worker. So let's start up. I'm not quite sure if this one was the small one to be a worker. Uh, because I want this one. No, you're going to be, yes, the, you're the night owl. That's not a good thing. I want somebody who's quite strong, but they're all three. So. No, the professor wouldn't be a smart choice to make you the fighter. Well, oh man. Well, I guess you are going to be the worker. Changing job, you are going to be the worker. And we are going to prove this. And that way we got ourselves a blacksmith. And remember, every uh, band you choose got his own little schematic and things they start with. Look at this, how they... Nicely order all everything. Alright, set up a workbench. Carpenters need a workbench. So we are going to build a workbench. Carpenter workbench. And that's kinda annoying that it's just behind. Oh, I need to do it that way. Alright, we'll do it that way. And then we can craft it. Where are you going to place it? Because I guess you first need to make it and then we can place it. Now that we've crafted a workbench, we need a place in the town for a carpenter to use it. Alright, so now we got a little workbench. Ooh, we got a little deer here. That's nice. Let him start nice and closely there. Strange bird. An odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak, stamped with the official seal of the Ascendancy. Open the letter. Dear Expedition 103, I hope this letter finds you well by my guest. You have likely set up a camp by now, as your capital liaison. It's my honor to present you remote, remotely over the official founding of your outpost. Trust that you had time to choose a name all right so we've got to find a name I guess as you know every new settlement must choose a banner this banner reflects the spirit and visions on unity factor which brought this expedition together what future did you foresee when you embarked all right so I guess we are going to pick a letter and look how nicely they all bring everything to there. 
Hold in mind that a vision what your town will one day be on your banner will set that course, but it is up to you to find out. Alright, so what are we going to choose? The official banner. We can f do the, well, let's first type the noun. The name of the town is going to be a Minturian. I always try and do that a little bit. If you get a better name, put it in the comment down below and maybe I can change it. I don't know yet. This settlement shall be one of the one with the environment. Alright, we produce 25% more wood, banner of strength. This summon will grow through earth and steel. We got a big mountain there, so banner of cunning. This settlement will this settlement will be a bustling hub of trade. Road will go three mile times normal speed. I like that. I like that a lot. But I'm not quite sure. So we, oh, what are we going to take? I guess we're going to make the banner of strength or, or the banner of cunning. I guess we, yeah, we're going to do the banner of cunning. All right, outpost established. Ping. Now we got those. Look at this thing. What's this? A hurl. Some kind of duck. Alright, little celebration. Now we should make ourselves a little home. Because you guys sh uh, should not like the weather. Down overview, there should be somewhere some schematics in this place. Some stairs. Craft. Alright, no, that's not it. There it is, schematics. Let's first make ourselves a cottage for two, a dining hall, shared sleeping quarter. I guess that's the first thing we're going to build. We can. Uh, not quite sure. I'm, I want to. That's going to be some kind of farmer. Oh, no. The R is the, the mode that we are going into war. That's, that's something I shouldn't do. We do. Uh, how am I going to change the. How am I going to change that? Oh yeah, 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 and no again. The keys for changing are the dot and the backslash, the dot and the comma. Kind of strangely picked, but all right. Well, it has to do. So we are going to start and build this house. As you can see, this house uh, costs 19 wood and 18 furniture things. And so we need to make a bed, we need to make a wooden dress. There are a lot of things we need to make. Let's start with the beds. We need four beds. Recipes, four beds. Where are the wooden beds? One, two, three, four. Oh, we need to do one, two, three, four. And craft. So we got the We got the mean bats. Now we need a wooden wall lanterns. And he's got to work a lot, I guess. Wooden wall lanterns, where are they? Wooden garden lanterns, wooden mounted. Not quite sure if it was mounted. No, it's a wooden wall lantern, so it wasn't a mounted one. Weave a spindle, no, no, where is it? Garden lantern. 
I'm not sure where it is. Should be somewhere in here. Wooden wall mounted lanterns. Why can't I make this? Gold flax. Is, is it really that thing? And can we open this one next to that one? That would be quite nice. But we cannot. So that's kind of annoying. Because they're all... Why aren't you guys building? Let's see, what's happening? Bird's paw. You're not sure how you missed it before, but the bird is wearing a tiny backpack. It contains a note which reads a little something to help you along. Cornbread, alright, that's delicious. Oh, I need to push the build button. Wooden wall lander. So let's first make the wooden dresser. Let's first make the dresser. That's this one. Guess we need one for that. And wooden window frames. We need, oh, we need four wooden dresses. Can we make even more orders? We get six. Oh, they're automatically queued. That's kind of neat. All right, then we can drop this one. All right, so by pressing the build button, it automatically queues. That's kind of neat. All right, let's speed this a little bit up. And I guess that is the last thing we're going to do in this episode. Bird departs. The odd message bird screwing off with your official settlement founding declaration in its beak, carrying it in the vague direction of the capital. Farewell. What? Kind of neat. So you can see the weather that's coming up here. So today it's windy, tomorrow it's going to be sunny, and over tomorrow it's going also to be sunny. No notification left, so we're going to speed up. They do need to eat. We got a lot of bats now. <laughs> Daily update. We got the food. Alright. The road may be empty tomorrow, so... I guess we need money. Sand Bottom has achieved Carpenter level 2. Let's check his character sheet. Whereas this is his character sheet, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's close that one. Now skillful enough to use material created by other crafts. Alright, that's also good to know. He likes the carbonate tool bench, so that's kind of good to know because we are going to make him an own, his own house. Oh, and look how they make this house. As you can see, the little letters they slowly build up the house. How neat it looks. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. We are going to make small little episodes with over the next month. Uh, coming on out on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, go and subscribe and uh, push the like button. And if you want to see anything, push the, uh, in the comment button and uh, just put it down there. So see you all next episode of Stoneheart.